article number 4. Edition 31. Published by Research Institute. Andy Shea Online, Germany. Quantum Mechanics. At the end of the 19th century, quantum mechanics was gradually developed. Many mathematicians and physicists had noticed that the principles of classical physics are not able to calculate atomic particle activities, for example, electron movement, the relationships between protons and their proper functions. It is believed that the field of quantum mechanics began with Max Planck developing the radiation law and using the magic word quantum for the first time. Although Erwin Schrödinger later discovered newer, more productive forms of atomic theory, which were very important to the birth of this science. Werner Heisenberg is considered the actual founder of quantum mechanics and was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1932. However, other important physicists were also involved in the founding of the newborn science with their thoughts and work. Albert Einstein explained the photoelectric effect by the light quantum hypothesis in 1905. Niels Bohr formulated the atomic model in 1918 and thereby brought down Rutherford's atomic model. In 1925, the matrix mechanics were formulated by Max Born, Pasquale Jordan and of course Heisenberg. Shortly thereafter, Erwin Schrödinger set up the equation named after him which was completely different from de Broglie's theory of matter waves. What Schrödinger was able to demonstrate a few months later was the fact that the wave mechanics are mathematically identical to matrix mechanics. In 1926, John Hasbrook Van Vleck published the first book entitled Quantum Principles and Line Spectra on the new quantum mechanics thereby conceptually bringing this science which was actually derived from classical physics to a point that everyone could agree on. All of these efforts and considerations led to a completely different view of the atomic shell. The type of particle movement with ever more new equations and theories that had become so complicated after a few years that they caused disagreements among well-known scientists. The most famous of these conflicts concerned Einstein and Max Born. Einstein believed that the quantum physicists of the time had become idealists. A quote from him is, Quantum mechanics is very respectful, but an inner voice tells me that it is not yet true Jacob. The theory delivers a lot but it hardly brings us closer to the mystery of the old one, in brackets, God. In any case I am convinced that the he, in brackets God, does not roll the die. Einstein Quantum mechanics was never able to answer the main questions about the origin of the universe. Humanity still owes modern technology to quantum mechanics. In addition, quantum mechanics opened the door to a completely different world in which phenomena can occur completely differently than in the world we perceive. So even though the theory was not yet the real Jakob, it seems that all of these considerations and scientific endeavors that we want to pursue in this study have gradually moved in the right direction so that the development process has given scientists like Heisenberg or in others the opportunity to deviate from the classic Descartes-Newton worldview and to think more openly than ever before about scientific events. Proof of this are the semi-popular science books which deal in particular with the philosophical aspects of theory. A fact that, in my opinion, must be seen as a very positive Significant and respectful revolution in scientific considerations, since you learn not to analyze phenomena unilaterally, but to consider all other explanations for the phenomena already discovered. The famous experiments such as Schrodinger's cat and the tunnel effect were the examples that indicated that the era of Descartes-Newton was over and was gradually being replaced by a modern approach. That could be called a quantum mentality which to a certain extent refuted some laws of classical mechanics or at least restricted them. For example, 
Albert Einstein's theory of relativity made it clear that Newton's mechanics only deals with a special case. In this context, the two other effective examples that each played a role here are the discovery of the allotropic forms of hydrogen and the superconductors, which can only be explained with principles of quantum mechanics. particle physics. Indirectly influenced by quantum mechanics, particle physics was developed at the beginning of the 20th century. The task of this subject in physics is to observe elementary particles, to describe the property of particles and to establish the connection between the particles and to explain the effect of basic forces in the atomic nucleus between nucleons. Basically, one can say that we have made a small step forward in the knowledge of matter through elementary particle physics and have decoded some basic building blocks of all beings. This is a world full of new facts where everything is floating and constantly changing. A correct and complete interpretation of the principles of particle physics gave scientists hope that the immaterial dimension of matter can be explained scientifically. This means that you can better imagine, for example, how the principles of the other world works in another dimension, which is called the afterlife. Unfortunately, based on the current state of this science, one has to state that this subject alone is not able to explain to us how the universe was created. Unfortunately, it is not even able to combine all four basic forces. The calculations and equations, the starting values of which are infinite, cause so many complications for science in all subject areas that they make the accuracy of some calculations unbelievable. The Metaphysical Thoughts Thales and other religious philosophers believed that existence is full of God, but they did not have to scientifically prove their thoughts. In addition, such short but significant statements are not suitable for adequately describing and explaining the origin of the world and existence. Centuries after Thales when quantum mechanics was founded, during the study of cosmic rays in connection with observations of elementary particles, it was assumed that every millimeter of the universe is filled with particles and antiparticles. For me, this scientific thesis is basically nothing more than what Thaley said 2,500 years ago. So you have to look for the key to the truth somewhere else. The fact is, the various derivations of the natural sciences have not yet been able to fully explain the origin of existence, since even a theory like the Big Bang Theory can only be proven hypothetically. How the electrons and positrons and matter were created is a subject that has not been theorized by any science despite the major steps taken in the analysis of matter. In my opinion, the incomplete research methods, which don't consider the second dimension of matter at all or do not consider it as a crucial indispensable fact, is the reason for this. A thinker may ask, why have scientists and researchers not examined the phenomena from a perspective that takes both sides, that is the material and immaterial dimension, into account? The sincere answer to this is, because no one was able to explain the immaterial dimension with all its components and facilities correctly, without paradoxes completely, reasonably, without superstition, without gaps and without contradictions. Every now and then we read or hear some articles in the media on the subject of metaphysics, some of which even correspond to the truth and are mostly inspired by Eastern spirituality, especially from the Indian Vedas, and deal with the content of moral teachings or meditation methods. Sometimes they also provide information about mystical interpretations of terms such as time, cosmos, space, etc. Such interpretations and teachings are partially useful but they are presented very selectively and with connection definitions that do not express the whole of existence with the dimensions, facilities, and living beings involved. 
and they are certainly not in a position to illustrate the relationships among one another as a whole. In order to be able to reasonably discuss human existence, one needs a specific first-hand, reliable source of knowledge that conveys the main design and the real primal plan of existence. Research and Study Farah Mars Tabish Main Source The Book Biology of Quantum Dimension by Farah Mars Tabish Next Topic Meister Elohi Solved the Riddle